I'm gonna make a sandwich bread, which is just delicious, out of this can of pink salmon. I'm gonna be adding some red onion, some celery still wrapped up in its foil, Oops. some mayonnaise, and some plain yellow mustard. This video is part of a collaboration named Quick and Easy Meals, and it's hosted by Deborah Cabasa Home Living and the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. New videos come out every Sunday. So let's get started. All right, if you've never seen canned salmon, it's kind of shocking. If you're used to getting salmon just in the refrigerator section or the meat and fish section of the grocery store. Anyway, it looks like this, kind of yucky looking, and there's a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this liquid out right now. Drained, it still doesn't look that fabulous, but this is really delicious. And by the time we're done, it'll be really, really delicious. So I'm going to start by pouring this, whoops, into the um, bowl. And I see there's still some liquid I didn't get, so I'm going to go pour the rest of this out. So here's what it looks like. There's some skin. There's all sorts of stuff. There's also small bones in here, but don't worry about the small bones. They dissolve uh, once they're uh, either cooked or mashed or whatever you do. They, they, are, they will not affect you. You don't have to worry about taking them out. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead, as I am doing and mashing this um, salmon. I just wanna get it really nice and mashed and everything, all the different pieces, just into one, um, one mass here, I guess is the word I'd use. So I'll be back in a moment. That looks spreadable. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cut up some onion and some celery to put in it. Okay, for me, this is a good amount of red onion. I tried to chop it up a little smaller than I usually chop because it is going to go into this and uh, if it's going to be a spread, you don't want huge chunks. You can put as much as you like, but this is an amount that works for me. I'm going to do the same with these two ribs of celery. I'm going to wash them, chop them up real fine, and throw them in the mix. And here it is, and again, the amount you use is going to be personal preference. You can add whatever you want to this. You could add olives, you could add green onions, you could add relish, whatever you like. I would caution you to taste this before adding anything that might have salt in it, like Old Bay, for example, or adding salt and pepper. There are only two ingredients in the can here, and they are salmon and salt, so it already is salty. I'm gonna get the uh, onions and the celery all mixed up with the fish here, and then we'll add the mayo and the mustard. I actually have this uh, stone ground mustard that's a little more Dijon-like, but I couldn't find it in the fridge, so I'm just gonna use the, um, the yellow mustard. I find with mustard, I always have to dump some of it out in the sink first because liquid comes out for some reason. I just had to do it now. I don't know why that liquid accumulates on the top of the mustard, but it does. So I always uh, sort of squeeze it once or twice over the sink to get that out. I'm going to add a big, big amount of uh, mayonnaise here. We can always add more, but I think that's enough. And here it is ready to go. This is absolutely delicious. I love it as a side to a salad, or you can put it on some toast. This is also a great... Um, thing to make if you are a food bank recipient in California because our food bank clients do get this canned salmon. And you can make quite a bit of uh, food from one of these. You can make uh, salmon burgers or uh, salmon croquettes or those breaded salmon patties. So anyway, hopefully this is helpful to you. I personally love this. I think it's delicious and I hope you find it to be the same. Thank you so much for watching.